Hi there today, this is Tim from the Dulcimer Shop and this is in our series of how-to videos. Uh, these are not short videos. These are not something you're just gonna say, oh, here it is. We wanna take our time, we wanna discuss a few things going on with with uh, with our how-tos. This, this how-to video happens to be one of changing the strings on your scroll head dulcimer. Uh, probably will work for a lot of different brands of scroll heads, but uh, we obviously are going to do it on on a McSpadden dulcimer. Uh, I'm going to use it on my. I'm actually going to use my old 1986 that I still play every day. Uh, it's a great old dulcimer. Whether you have the one-to-one -one tuners that this has or the planetary tuners, they're going to be the same concept, the same idea. These are going to tune up much quicker. The four-to-ones are going to be a little bit slower, but they're still a lot faster tuning up than having to use a string winder for your uh, flathead dulcimers. So let's start right into stringing up your dulcimer. So let's get right on to changing our uh, strings of our dulcimer. Simply un undo the dulcimer. And here again, they should come right out because we're not gonna do any more than put an S in there to hold, hold them in place. This is where it's really nice to have the S hook uh, in your dulcimer holding it in place because to get down in the small areas here to uh, undo somebody's knot that they put in there uh, is a real pain. So here we go, uh, first string off. Let's take them all off again. Uh, because that is a easy way to clean up your dulcimer uh, after you. So while we're taking these off, we, they, they come right off. We're gonna talk about these older dulcimers have a one-to-one -one ratio, meaning one turn is one turn inside here. Uh, nowadays, we put on a four-to-one uh, ratio tuner, uh, which it helps with these slipping once in a while. These aren't a big deal. You just, you can, there's a little screw on the end. You can uh, tighten them up and you can get on them pretty good if they're not holding and they will hold. Actually, you can take this off and there's a little plastic uh, or nylon washer in here. You can get an eyeglass washer and uh, put it on there so that you have a little more tension if, if these start to wear over years. Like I say, this is my 1986 model and uh, it's, it's working just fine still, but. Some people aren't quite that lucky or don't wanna be bothered with it. Look out here and just a few wraps. You do not need to use your whole string to, to hold your dulcimer, uh, to hold your string up. So we're ready now to string up our dulcimer. We want to do, this is a dulcimer with your scroll head that you want to do in an order. I've seen other videos where they start on this end, they start at that end, they go underneath here. This is all not correct. You want to start with your first tuner, second tuner, third tuner, fourth tuner. So you're going to have to have your strings organized knowing that this is a melody string or, or your high end string, high end string, center string, and your bass string apart from you. This is if you're stringing it up right handed. Everything's backwards if you're doing left handed, that's that's fine. We understand, we'll have to just take that into account. Okay, there again, as we did on our flatheads, this is a loop end string as opposed to a ball end string. The loop end strings simply go around a small nail here in the back. Hook on there. As we said, our first first string we want to put on is the first one, is the first tuner we come to. This one right here. The others will go over the top of each one. If you get them underneath there or in a different order, as you turn one or another, it's gonna pull down on another string and make it very hard to keep it in tune. So if there, if each string comes over the top, they don't interfere with each other. Same manner is get a slack of string, put your elbow or something down, or if, you, if that's uncomfortable for you, get a friend. Say, hold down right here while I mess with this end. You know, that's, there's nothing wrong with using a friend to help change your strings, but at least you get the satisfaction of being able to change your own strings. 
Um, we change them for free here at the dulcimer shop. We change them all the time. But if you if one of your strings breaks while you're out on the road or or need to play at your church service soon or at your folk bonfire gathering, uh, what are you going to do? You need to know how to change your own strings. So hold hold the string down in place. Here's an important part of stringing up a scroll head. Have your have your holes to your peg going horizontal with the instrument. Okay, this is an important part. Come over the top and come back through. You may want to tip it up just a little bit so that you can get a hold of it. But now you are for sure that your string, that's your business end of the string, comes over the top of your tuner. You don't want it to come underneath there. So that in the case, we take our string and we snug it down, snug it tightly. That's, you put a little bit of a kink in the string and it won't, and it won't move. Then you can go ahead and move it this way and this string is going to follow along. So bring this string back and put a little, nice little kink in it that way. That makes our S that holds it in place. Take a small snippers. You can go ahead and snip that, snip that string off of there. Sometimes it works more smoothly at other times. Okay, so this is, see how firmly I'm holding on that? That's got that S that holds it in place. You don't have to wrap it. You don't have to loop it. You don't have to put, tie a knot in it. You don't have to go through this thing twice. The reason we don't want to do that is because it makes it very difficult to take it off. Not to string it. Who cares stringing it? But when you want to take it off quickly and efficiently, it really is terrible. Then you just simply tighten this away from you and... Uh, Your, your string winds on and gets shorter and shorter. And you uh, hook it into your nut there and have it, have it in place. Now, you wanna make sure you get it into your nut slot in the correct place. And you wanna also make sure you've got it in your bridge slot in the correct place and in these nice little notches in the back. That way, when you tune it up, uh, you won't get a buzzes because it's not in these slots. Okay, so quiz time. Which is our next? Which is our next string we're going to put on? Here, 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 here. Not because they're, not because they are staggered, but the fact that this is the next one in order. This is our next one in order. That happens to be our bass string. We're going to put our bass string on the same way on this end. I'm not going to show you. We're going to hook the, hook the, well, I'm going to show you. We're going to hook that onto our little peg here, onto a little nail. Bring it up in the same way. Oops, it jumped off for me. That's happened before. So there again, we want to get our, turn this so that your hole I don't know if we can get down to that or not. Can you see that? See how you have your hole here? This is up and down. We want to get our holes so that they are horizontal with the instrument. That's a very important part. Then you don't get confused which direction to turn your uh, string. I'm going to try to get out of the way so you can see this. See how we come backwards in? This is a handy place where a little needle nose would be handy. But see how that comes up there? And then you're going to get it into here where you can get a hold of your string and pull it down. Remember, remember we're going to have slack in this? That's how much string we're going to go around with. So you're going to pull this tight. That sets your string. This is a little awkward so the camera doesn't get on here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just change hands so you can see better. See how that comes around there? And then that other tail string, pull back there and hook it. You are as tight and gonna hold, 
you're gonna hold as much as you're gonna hold anyway 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 we're gonna just come down here we're gonna snip that off and uh, uh, so that that holds this is a little awkward I would be doing this with my left hand but so that you can so that you can see what I'm doing I changed hands and simply wind the string on making sure it's in the nut slot making sure it's in the bridge slot and away we are so what's our next what's our next string one two three this is our next string this is our second melody string so I have I've got my next melody string I'm gonna hook it down here in the bottom the same same thing but I'm doing it several times so that you all can uh, catch any any little differences that I might do stick it in bring it up so that you can push it all the way through bring it to the back here okay there there's the tightness and you you're just gonna snug it and hold it tight there same as the other see how this tail end comes on around go ahead and and snug it so that it doesn't go anywhere so that we don't need to wrap this around and around I like to go ahead and and snip that off it worked fine that time anyway roll it up these these one-to-one -one tuners really go quickly but see how this is this string is above this string so it doesn't interfere if this string were on top of it when we would pull this in tight it would pull down on this string and uh, affect its tuning so when it's over the top it doesn't affect anything now well, there's the there's the string last we go with this tuner over here did I say at the beginning of this this is a long video get yourself a cup of coffee I hope your coffee's not gone by now it might be you can pause these I think and uh, look look at them again here again we, we can stick it down into there turn it so that it's horizontal kind of push it on through you get the feel of this string how it works and lock it into place turn it lock it into place again we're gonna after this is done we're gonna show you what to do if you would break a string and need to change one and that you don't go in this order. See how that, that final string just comes over the top of everything else and no string pulls on another string. And you're set, that's tuned up. Now, let's, let's go with a scenario that what are we going to do if our bass string breaks and we have this middle string over the top of our bass tuner okay what are we going to do here you simply take your string that's in the way loosen it up a little ways that's why we put enough strings loops on here so if you have to loosen it up to uh, move some strings around it doesn't come off and and simply move it over here put it along in with one of these slots then you have plenty of room to say for instance change that bass string tighten up your bass string get it where you need it to be and then come back and retighten this one up so I said it's very strategic to, to put the strings on in this order and if you need to just change one string because one broke or just became bad, uh, just simply loosen them and move the strings over so that you can get to that. What if, what if your outside melody string breaks and you've got this one over the top? Loosen it, loosen it and move this one over. Then you, then you have plenty of room to get to uh, that string to change it and then after you've tightened it up go ahead and uh, move this one back over and put it into place 
logically these these work very well to uh, to string up anyway there's I'm gonna wrap this up a little bit and say I hope that this gave you some ideas how to uh, change your uh, strings on your scroll head dulcimer don't be intimidated by it it's uh, some people said oh, I'll never change them on a scroll head or I don't want to get a scroll head because I'll never be able to change the strings they weren't really that hard to do once you have a little bit of a system of the order that you uh, put them on and, and just a little trick of, of which direction to put the string through so that you know that it is always coming over the top of the uh, pin inside there anyway. Um, hope, hope this helps. Call us if you have any questions and we'll be happy to kind of explain anything that, that was uh, not smoothly done here in the video. But uh, change your own strings. You'll, you'll get a satisfaction out of knowing your instrument and loving your instrument just a little bit more. Thank you for your attention and all this time you put up with me. Bye.